Today we're going to use a SureResult D3 Ultra to evaluate the plantar fascia for a plantar fasciitis or fasciosis. Now the evaluation itself is very, very, very simple. You look at the medial tubercle, which is typically where the patient says where their pain is. And if the plantar fascia is larger than four millimeters, they have plantar fasciitis or fasciosis. If it's less than four millimeters, then they're probably fine. And normal is around like two or three, and abnormal is like five or six. So it's very rare that you'll find someone around that four millimeter mark. Now the plantar surface itself can be a little tricky to scan through because you know it's hard to get penetration sometimes through that thick skin. So you may have to increase power or decrease frequency in order to, to see anything. Uh, in fact, I've, I've even had to go down to like five megahertz with the curvilinear side uh, just to get the penetration to uh, measure the plantar fascia. But in theory, the structure is quite shallow, so higher frequency should be better for higher resolution. I think I'm going to use 7.5 megahertz for this today. Now, our sample patient here, this is a possible patient positioning, um, but you can pretty much have almost any patient position that gives you access to the foot. If you have a, a taller uh, table where they're sitting and their foot is dangling, I just, you know, dangling foot and just place it underneath and check. Um, some other structures you could, should keep in mind is sometimes it's actually a problem, for example, with the tibialis posterior tendon instead of the plantar fascia. Or it could be myofascial trigger points at the bottom of the foot instead of the plantar fascia. So those are other things to consider. And I've already scanned her before, and in particular, she has probably the most difficult plantar fascia I've ever had to scan. <laughs> it's very thin, and the, the medial tubercle you expect sort of around here but it's, it's actually a little bit further just on her. So if, if I can use this to evaluate her plantar fascia, then I can probably evaluate anyone's plantar fascia. We'll get some gel on here. We'll uh, turn it on. And let's go like this. So we're seeing the calcaneus as the the cortex there, and there's the plantar fascia. I wasn't so bad. That was pretty easy. So here's that surface, and here's the bottom of it, and that's the thickness we need to measure. So you can grab the measurement tool. We need a length. And grab that. And it's 2.8 millimeters. Pretty easy. Now you can, of course, scan over the entire plantar fascia, looking for other pathologies, and as I mentioned, you could look for myofascial trigger points either through palpation or with the ultrasound unit. Um, remember, a muscle that looks unusually hypoechoic, darker than usual, could indicate a myofascial trigger point. And again, I do recommend checking the tibialis posterior tendon for tendinopathy there. Anyways, I hope you found this useful. Cheers!